is Christina from DNA Premium Photography, and I'm here with today's makeup tip. Hi, I'm Terry Alabato with DNA Premium Photography, and today I'll be showing you how to apply contour, blush, and highlighter on the cheeks. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to apply blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Now, in the olden days, the way you used to go, if you used all three products, would be to put the highlighter, blush, and then contour color. Now, what, what has been discovered over the years and what has become a new trend is that it is actually better to do it in the opposite direction so that you can see all the colors clearly. Now, for your contour, you you can use a fluffy brush, but it's also nice to use a flat brush to get more definition, and since you're gonna put other colors over it, it never hurts to have a little extra help from your tools. So I'm gonna take this contour color from Tarte called Park Princess. It is a little shimmery, so it could be a bronzer, like for summer or fall, but I like it because it's the shimmer is very subtle and it can look natural and pretty matte um, on the skin as well. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the color and where I'm placing it is the top part goes no higher than where the ear touches the face on the side, no lower than the bottom edge of her nose. It also doesn't go any farther than the outer corner of her eye. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go from the top here to out here and just actually blend inward. Now it's better to go from the outside in so that it can fade and look like a natural shadow as if the, the sun or a light or spotlight was just lighting her from above and and showing off the, her natural shadowing. Now for blush, a brush that has the bristles splayed out so that it can spread out and not be too harsh. And you, the direction you want to do is actually the opposite of how you do the contour color. Now doing this technique will make you look a lot more flattering in photos, whether it's photography, headshots, uh, boudoir, or bridal. And so it's sort of like a yin-yang effect. So you have the contour darker here and you, you have the blush brighter here and it fades out in different directions, just like the yin-yang sign. So Actually, I have you turn towards me. Thank you. And if you were to do your makeup like this for a photo shoot, you might want to add maybe one and a half to two times brighter the color or stronger the contour so that it will show up because flash photography will take away at least half of the coloring of whatever you put in that natural lighting. So there's one tip for that. You might have gone too inward with the blush or the contour. You could always take your whatever brush or you could take some foundation, very a very thin amount on your fingers and you can go from the inside out and that will help blend out the blush. So now with highlighter, just wanted, you could, I've actually found uh, it's been okay to take it with the blush, same blush brush, or you can take another brush, but I'm going to use the blush brush, so they're kind of blended together. But I'm just gonna take a dab and just put it on the high points of the cheek. She already has great cheekbones, so she doesn't really need to have highlighter, but it will also round out the cheeks and make the blush stand out a little bit more too. So you could put it there, you could put some on the other high points of the face. She already has a well-pronounced nose, so I'm not gonna put any there. And you know, just maybe around the temples and everything. And, and that's it for the highlighter. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.